hard question today and a hard decision with two great pianos that we're comparing. The Roland FP90X and the Casio PXS7000. Digital pianos, stick around. Hi, this is Ted with Alamo Music Center in beautiful downtown San Antonio. And today, I'm flying solo. Patrick's out of town. So anyway, I thank you for your time and attention here on the channel. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and like our videos if you like them. And uh, leave us some comments, good, bad, or indifferent. We like to respond and interact with you. And I think there's a t-shirt thing. So if you go to our web, web store, our website at alamomusic.com, there's a tab on there where you could buy some of the t-shirts, a few of them we've been wearing here on videos, uh, Chris and Cooper, myself, and I don't think Patrick has worn uh, any of the store shirts. We should make him do that other than the Alamo official ones. Anyway, today I'm comparing um, two videos that we've already done on the Roland FP90X and also on the Casio uh, PSX7000. and. Uh, We've done separate videos on there and go into uh, some detail on it, but just since these things are priced real close to one another, and Casio really changed their game on this because they went up more into the intermediately priced between two and three thousand dollars. I think this lists for around twenty four hundred dollars, and the Roland is priced right near that same price. It might be a couple hundred dollars less. I didn't check on the details. If you go on the internet, you can find them and we have pricing here at the store. Um, <clears throat> anyway, what I wanted to mention is that each of these companies have a kind of a sig significant propaganda that go with their digital pianos, which is great because I, I enjoy both of these keyboards. I think they're wonderful instruments. Uh, Roland has what they call progressive hammer action for their 88 key. Uh, on this model, and Casio has what they call smart ha hybrid hammer action. And they're both adjustable. They come with a fixed kind of um, uh, action or tension force, whatever you want to call it, uh, to play on it. But they also have adjustable uh, on there. Roland doesn't say how many Casio advertise. They have five different levels. And they both are 256 polyphony. And they both have... Um, Hundreds of sounds in it. The Casio has 400 sounds in it, and uh, I believe the Roland has somewhere around 320, 30 something sounds in it, like that. However, uh, the Supernatural Sound Card is what um, Sound Engine, Supernatural Sound Engine is what Roland uses, and it really has 20 really decent sounding piano sounds in it. I wouldn't say all of them are. The upright one is so so, and then the ragtime one is kind of, well, ragtimey. Uh, there's a few others that are kind of like those modern ones that have like a kind of a steely, long, uh, high-pitched tone to it. They both each have that kind of uh, metal piano or uh, what they call a studio piano or something like that. And uh, Casio uses a multi-dimensional Morphin Air sound engine. That's their name. So they have a name on their hammer action and on their sound cards. And I think that's kind of breaks down in a nutshell the, the digital marketing world. What's the wattage, what's the weight, what's this, what's that, how many sounds, what do they call their action, and what's it like? Anyway, they both play and sound great. They both respond to the sound card extremely well. Uh, again, Roland has about 20 piano sounds. I believe the Casio probably has at least twice as many. Uh, 18 electric <clears throat> pianos in a Roland, and there's probably about twice at minimum that on Casio. I haven't counted them. Casio gives you this long form, looks like a roadmap. And there isn't one thing that lists all of their sounds, so I couldn't really conveniently get a list of how many are there. There's a bunch of them in there. Um, and the Roland weighs in at about 52 pounds. It has a 25 watt onboard sound system in it with a two by two sound. Uh, uh, it's got two engine, uh, two speakers and two engines in there uh, on both sides, uh, mids and highs. And then also the Casio has a 16 watt sound system in it with two speakers as well and it weighs in at about 33 pounds so that's just the keyboard alone the stand itself is extremely heavy it does have all three pedals uh, the casio comes with a stand and it looks like a sawhorse but it, it's very solid it's a rock solid instrument to play the roland does not come with a stand and it does have a little bit beefier of a sound system in it but it does not have a stand it does not have three pedals if you were buying one for the studio 
Uh, I think it would be personal preference as to which sound card you like. If you were buying one where there's a little bit of an aesthetic value, you have a, a rec room or something where you want to have a piano in there, the Casio would be great, especially with that mustard color. It's kind of a mod looking thing. It's really super cool. Uh, the Roland, I think, would be absolutely be the one to use as a stage piano. It's advertised and marketed as a stage piano. You can pick it up and go to a gig and come back. It's a lot more user friendly. All the sounds <clears throat> are broken down by piano, electric piano, organ, synth, and uh, strings. Uh, whereas on the Casio, you have a rotator wheel. You have to pick these different things and you have to hit enter. It's not really going to be user friendly at a gig. It, it might if you were just a guy sitting at a piano playing background music, if you're in a band and you've got a sound, uh, you know, a song list and you got to pop them off. The Casio could be a little bit sluggish uh, for an old guy like me. I like to just push buttons and get my sounds in play. Uh, let's have a listen uh, to both of them. We'll give the comparative sound and come back and wrap it up.
Well, there you have it, the two sounds. I really enjoyed demoing the Roland because I just kind of blasted through the sounds as, as quickly as I could and tried to play simple kind of things. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that there, there are um, a lot, a lot of similarities. All the things you're looking for, uh, in other words, Bluetooth, audio, and MIDI uh, in OutJax, they have all that. They also have the ability to send uh, MIDI information Bluetooth. Um, they have all the ability to transpose and change, change key and do all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of onboard effects. Uh, all the things you would normally expect, they both have. I don't know if one does it better than the other. They're different designed keyboards. They just happen to hit in the same price range and they have a lot of similarities in the sounds. I think Casio really hit the nail on the head here with this thing with the sound card that they came up with and some of the names that they gave to these piano sounds and electric piano sounds because they sound exactly like the things that you're used to hearing in the recording that the sound itself emulates in some form or fashion. Roland does that a little bit, but they kind of do it mostly on the standard uh, settings that most people would use. Uh, if you're looking to spend between $2,000, $2,500 on a digital piano and you're not sure if you, which one you're looking at, I encourage you to go play both of these. They both have their advantages, uh, one over the other, depending upon your use and also depending upon your preference of the sound. Uh, the sound card and also how these things play and feel to your response. I happen to like either one of them. I'd be thrilled with either one, but I'm really, I, I can't say enough about the aesthetic of that Sawhorse uh, mustard keyboard that Casio has. I think they're gonna, they're gonna have a, um, a big seller on their hands. That's just my guess. Once you look into the features and, and really enjoy that keyboard, uh, you'll see what I'm, I'm talking about in the same hand. Roland has a very comparative product and it runs a little bit less. So with that, I'll leave it at that. I'll let for you to decide. We'll be looking for you to walk into the store and play some pianos and keyboards with us. Otherwise, stay tuned for future advanced videos. And we have some that are coming up that are based on comments. So please stick around. Appreciate you.